Hey beautiful YouTubers, it's Tess. So here's what I got so far with the three layers of pink mottling which I showed you guys in the previous video. As you can see the details are very 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 subtle. What you're getting here is less of a mottled look and more of a depth um, that you'll see especially you know in, conca in Caucasian babies with these fair perfect looking newborn or perfect looking older baby skin tones. That's what we're going here is for the look of an older baby. And all this is very, very subtle. These were taken outside with no flash, so the details aren't as prominent, but you can kind of see the depth, and it does capture her true coloring. And then here, after this picture, we have pictures with flash, which emphasize the detail, and you can see the mottling more, but this isn't really her true coloring. She's not this blue and pink and stuff like that. The outdoor pictures capture her coloring, but here you can actually see the tiny little circles and, you know, the effect that the mottling has so you can get an idea of what yours is supposed to look like. This is kind of what it looks like as you're still painting it, but it's way more behind the skin in person. You can hardly tell without looking really closely. And that's what you want because, you know, in a real baby you're not going to be able to see the mottling very prominently. <clears throat> and then after this picture, I actually have pictures of my Sabrina kit that I just painted with the same exact technique so you guys can have an idea of what the completed doll will look like with these techniques that I recommend. It's a very uh, fair skinned baby with an older look. Um, I love the little pink lips and I'm, I'm so in love with this baby by the way guys. I made this baby for my personal collection. And you can make slight modifications to the technique to um, cater to your preferences. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.